Hi everyone, welcome to Tarot and Nails or welcome back. I'm going to do a quick collective reading for you today. Let's get into it. Oh, the world, the Queen of Wands in reverse. It's good that the world is upright. I don't feel like this Queen of Wands is you. But let's get some more cards to see. What does the collective need to know? Okay, you've got the King of Swords in the upright. the ones that fell first. Okay, we've got the Emperor on the bottom of the deck as well. We've got the Lovers. Okay. Five of Wands. Justice in Reverse. The Chariot. Knight of Wands. Eight of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Temperance and strength in the reverse okay so this queen of wands in the reverse is definitely not you um this is definitely someone that is in your environment it's a feminine energy doesn't have to be a fire sign but definitely someone that is very aggressive um this person is starting fights they are i think they've challenged you to arguments and they, they've done this in public settings and you have not taken the bait um i see them continuing to try this until you recognize that this person is a test and I think for some of you you've already realized that you're in the beginning stages of having that download um, it's it's a test so as long as you continue to not let this person get under your skin because that's their entire aim if you continue to ignore this behavior and basically just not engage is like the best way I can think of to say it. Um, you focus on, um, you know, really going within and finding hobbies and things that you enjoy doing. You start pouring your energy into um, your manifestations and growing yourself as a person. The more you do that, the less uh, this person will be able to affect you, the less you will vibrate in any similar way. Because as you continue to grow within yourself, you will ascend and become, you know, more in alignment with yourself. And then this person will not have spiritual access to you. Um, they're going to stay on this low vibrational level, it looks like, for a while. Um, I don't foresee this person in the future, um, in the near future anyway, growing. Um, but once you start growing, um, you will notice this person is just, they fall out of your life. So they will end up disappearing. I'm really getting this person has, um, has like an anger management problem where they've been in and out of jail. I feel like it's local jail where they're, they're kind of known by the police force or the task force. Um, locally around the neighborhood or the city that you live in they know this person is always up to no good they know that um there's someone that starts fights to distract people is what i'm getting um they may have a problem with theft as well i didn't see that come out but this is your reading this is not about them it's just the first card because this is like the thorn in your side at this time 
Um, but like I was saying, the police have a good picture of who this person is. Um, they know that they have an anger management problem. This person has probably got, you know, done time for assault. Um, they definitely have a record, a rap sheet. They're known. Um, it's one of those people where the police keep arresting them and they're like, oh, hey, blah, blah, blah. And then like they have a rapport because they consistently interact with each other. It's like that. They know this person's up to no good. They know this person has like these specific, you know, tricks and things that they do. So they're, she's on their radar. Um, so since that's the case, I think that's why you start going within is because you, you realize that like this person is just doing the same old shit basically. Um, I see a lot of you getting into, you know, alchemy, maybe even potions or something about maybe it's just decoration where you're doing this, you know, you've got these shelves, you know, you're doing a lot with your home. Um, you might have gotten some plants recently or are planning to do so, you're really pouring a lot into your homestead because you've realized from a lot of you, you spend a significant amount of time here um, and you wanna be surrounded by what makes you happy and you know where you wanna go. You've realized that visual aesthetics is big for you. Um, you may even have, you know, like a pet bird or um, a pet cat and they might be also involved or inspirational to you in some way for kind of decking out your space, what you consider your space. Um, and that's gonna be very therapeutic for you. You know, like retail therapy, you're gonna feel, you might even like be really into singing, um, maybe like vocal lessons or, you know, you're teaching yourself potentially. Um, just know whoever and whatever's in your environment is very appreciative of the changes that you're making, even if they're not capable of communicating that to you. Um, you might be doing a lot of reading as well. Just really taking time to do what you like to do. Um, I see this light looks like four to help the plant grow. So you're really taking a lot of steps and measures to create a space that is is pleasant and, and like a chill vibe for you to be in. And then you've got the King of Swords and the Lovers. I feel like this is about friendship. Um, I think going through this experience with this Queen of Wands, or sorry, yeah, this Queen of Wands in reverse has made you realize that the people that you curate around you, the people that you allow into your life energetically, physically, emotionally, really, really does have an effect on you. It affects how you see the world, it affects your energy level, it affects, you know, your body because you're, you know, in a place of either happiness and tranquility or unrest. Um, so you're really cutting all of that out of your life. If you have been doing things out of, you know, habit or history or your environment, your upbringing, you're breaking all of those habits. Um, anything on autopilot, you want to be fully present. You may have even entered like um, a period where you're paying attention to what you eat. I'm seeing a lot of you drinking um, like lemon water and really trying to do cleansing things. You might be doing cleansing. Um, you might have sage. You might be cleansing the air. You might be using sound to cleanse. You might be... Um, doing anything you can think of whatever inspires you to cleanse your environment this person's part of the lesson that they're teaching you is your environment is so critical to you that you need to have it in alignment and having people like this in your world and your life really disrupts things it disrupts you it disrupts your flow it delays you it really is a blockage um but I definitely see now that you're getting rid of this Queen of Wands character, this person from your sphere, your true genuine friends are capable of being in your environment again. You're able to make time for them. And it wasn't that you were doing that deliberately in the past. I just see that this Queen of Wands like knocked you off of your center of gravity so much to the point where you felt like you didn't have enough energy to give your best self to the people that you cared about. Um, but you're, you know, once you go in and you really start understanding how to weave this Queen of Wands out of your life, you're much more at peace and capable of surrounding yourself and creating the life and the environment that you want with the people that you do genuinely care about. Um, 
a lot of you are really taking time to measure how you speak, how you sound. Candles and crystals might be important to a lot of you. A few of you might be getting um, some tattoos specifically related to astrology, maybe your astrological sign, um, stars, moon, moon phases, um, getting your hair done, dyeing it, um, a color that you've always wanted to color it. Definitely with the retail therapy, I feel like a lot of you are going to be getting some really, really cute shoes. Um, you're going to have more meetings and gatherings at your house once you've gone through this period of, you know, getting your living space up to where you want it to be. If you're going to feel more comfortable after that point for, you know, having parties and maybe dinner parties, something you used to do a lot of, and then you kind of dial back back with how exhausted you were dealing with this Queen of Wands. But you definitely are making room for the things that matter to you. Got the Five of Wands and the Justice in reverse. This Queen of Wands puts so much anxiety and toxicity into your life that you felt very, very alienated. And you felt like there was never going to be justice. You felt like this was going on for too long. And I think for most of you, that was because, you know, this was a lesson that you needed to learn. Um, yeah, I really feel like You're done fighting. And this person brought, this Queen of Wands brought nothing but like discord and a lack of harmony into your life. Yeah, you can see that like her passion projects and the things she cared about right here. This is you. On the side, you know, of your life because this person took up so much of your energy in a really negative way. That it was really hard for you to love yourself you know during that period and we've got the chariot and the knight of wands i feel like cancer very strongly so you could be a cancer um or it could be someone else that's important in your life that's very close to you like perhaps a mother or um some figure in your life. Maybe it's one of your friends that's very like close to you. Um, also getting Gemini Libras here as well. But a lot of fire. I feel like this is a, a message, a happy message from an elder, someone maybe like your grandmother or someone maternal to you. It could be, you know, someone at work that's, you know, very motherly towards you. Um, but definitely someone delivers a message that is, it makes you overjoyed. It makes you very, very, very happy. All of these good, positive omens and people and places and things are coming into your life now that you have cut off this Queen of Wands because the King of Swords, that's still your energy, regardless, masculine, feminine energy. We're all, you know, a combination of both. Um, this King of Swords, though, doesn't take shit. Like, this is someone that cuts someone off, cuts them off at their knees, cuts them off in the conversation. You cut this Queen of Wands straight out of your life, which this Queen of Wands was not expecting. Um, but because you did that, all of these good positive things are happening. You might be moving into a new home or um, getting a mortgage. You're going to be getting some really, really good news that's going to make you really, really, really happy. I feel, I feel like a lot of you, if you are... Um, an outdoorsy, outdoorsy person, um, you might be don't you know doing a lot of hiking, um, mountain biking. I see you being very active during this time. You take this news and you just you know want to be outside. And you've got the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, Eight Eight, Temperance, and Strength in Reverse. So this Queen of Wands who is always agitating you, always confronting you, always trying to get you to fight physically, was emotionally toxic. Um, 
the whole time this was happening, you were still, you know, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. Like, yeah, it's like, you know, play me, you know, a song on this violin. Like, you just did not pay much attention to it. Like, people did not understand, like, internally how much it was affecting you because you were going through all these transformations and understandings and synchronicities. Um, you could have been seeing 555, 11, 11, 11. Um, 33 or 333 I definitely feel like you were going through this you know alone essentially because it was all internal so this person was frustrated because they couldn't really get a rise out of you they couldn't get you to come to the plate and fight or engage or whatever they were trying to instigate so desperately um and it's super desperate by the way is the vibe I'm getting like this person like it's clear they have a problem um and people have finally started to realize, like, they were trying to fight with you for literally no damn good reason. Like, it was literally just an ego thing, and they're crazy. Um, that's how people are perceiving them. They initially were on this person's side and against you, which was also part of the test, because it felt like the world was against you, because technically for a little bit it was. Um, but it wasn't real, which again boosted this person's ego. It was like a whole thing. Um... I feel like for a lot of you, you did feel kind of trapped in your own world because you had to deal with this alone. You couldn't really talk to very many people about it. You couldn't really engage with this person because you were like, no, I don't want to do that. So you really just tried to figure it out on your own. Um, and you were very reflective during this time. You were very isolated. You may have stayed in a lot, like stayed in your home. Um, you may not have wanted to go very far from the places that you needed to be. You weren't being very social. You were having a lot of trust issues. You just wanted to stay away. Um, but you were still working very hard the entire time. You were still trying to climb the mountain and still get through everything that was happening to you. You were very diligent and, you know, steadfast in how you approached this and, you know, very determined to get to the other side and get through it. But, you know, your good patience is being rewarded. Um, you've got Sagittarius here too. I feel like more than it being a Sagittarius, which again, this could, you know, have a fire sign in it there's a lot of fire here the person that you know was attacking you could have been a Sagittarius but the point of this lesson was to have patience not only have patience with yourself but the process um and to trust your gut you knew that like there was no reason to fight this person if it had been fight or flight or you know a, an issue where you really needed to like throw hands you would have um but you knew that this was just a test and that this person was acting from like some off base place is the best way to say it. Um, but you're definitely being rewarded because you passed this test with flying colors and you are, you are going to be meeting up like someone is going to be coming into your life. Um, that has gone through something similar and you will both bond over that because you not only do you have similar interests, but you've also had similar experiences. So you're going to be energetically connected with this person. You're gonna feel like you've known them forever. Um, and you've got strength in reverse. This person thought you were weak. This queen of wands thought they could get one over on you. They underestimated you, which they're now really realizing was a huge mistake because I feel like they're losing it. Everyone, recognizing their um issues and like kind of accepting that they're the one with the problem and it's not you has really thrown them for a loop they weren't expecting to get a taste of their own medicine times 10 because i feel like you sent that energy straight back to them once you realized you know what was going on let's get some clarifiers here yeah this person's gonna have no new opportunities they have ruined their whole reputation People now just think this person is that shit. Okay, which one? Okay, the Ace of Wands came out first. The Moon. I don't know when this one flew out. King of Wands. Two of Pentacles in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. And Six of Pentacles. Okay. And then on the bottom of the deck, you've got Nine of Pentacles. Uh, what else? Knight of Swords. 
Okay. All right. So, yeah, this Queen of Wands, she's going to have zero opportunities in the future because she has completely ruined her reputation. Um, Salamander is really calling out to me to describe this person like they might be snake-like or reptilian-like or that's how they were behaving, they're very sneaky. All of that is being uncovered, exposed. Um, there's going to be no new exciting things on the horizon, I guess I'll just say for this person, um, until they pay their karmic debt back for doing this to you. The world is clarified by the moon. Yeah, you're figuring out the secrets of yourself um, when you, you know, go within and you kind of, you know, decorate and, you know, go shopping and start singing again or whatever it is that um, makes you feel at peace. Maybe it's just walking through like a greenhouse that's down the road or something that's something like that. Um, these are when these things that have been kept hidden from you will become understood. You're going to connect a lot of dots. There's going to be a lot that kind of falls into place when you really start focusing on yourself. So the King of Swords, which is you, right here, it's clarified by the King of Wands. Yeah, this is you going from <clears throat> very cutthroat to, you know, this warrior. Cancer, again, could be important or significant. Yeah. This is you leveling up. Um, you know, you're really coming out of your comfort zone and you're going, your throat chakra might even be opening during this time that's giving you a lot of power. This Queen of Wands made you feel like you had to, or she wanted all of your attention. That's part of the reason she was doing this. She wanted all of your attention so that you could not spend time with the people that actually care about you. A Capricorn could be involved, doesn't have to be. Five of Wands clarified by the Hierophant. Yeah, you were definitely done fighting. I don't think you ever actually like engaged, but you just realized if I don't give this person any mind, then they will go away. You started listening to your intuition and feeling like, I know that a lot of you felt like you didn't think this was ever going to end. <clears throat> like this person was resistant, like, or not resistant, they were resilient. They, every time you thought like, okay, that's it, that person, you know, isn't going to try me again, they would. Um, you put in so much hard work into yourself that that is what stopped this cycle. This person is going to be forced out of your environment, like I was saying before. This person is going to be forced for whatever reason, something's going to happen that's going to force this person out of your city, state, country. They're going to be, like, you'll never see this person again. Um, whatever karma they have to endure for what they did to you is going to force them out of your environment completely. Let's get some oracles here. Let me know in the comments if this reading resonates. I'd love to hear from you guys. And please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's hard to find people on YouTube, so. Okay, healing, success, and gratitude. Yeah, you are healing a lot of your um, emotional wounds, childhood wounds. There's a lot more connected to this situation than is on the surface. Um, a lot of the lessons you're learning connect to childhood trauma. A lot of you um, 
either your father left or your uncle was somehow more involved in your life or a neighbor, um, could even be like a, a family friend, like their father was somehow helpful to you during your development. Some father figure, there's some trauma as it relates to your home life that is also deeply rooted and connected to this queen of wands who was trying to fight you. Um, but you're do, doing the healing. And this breaks down to 10, 20, and 9. So those um, numbers could be of significance. There's also another um, Libra here. I've also got Aries. Shout out to my Aries. Um, yeah, I think during this period of you really focusing on yourself and like decking out your place and like feeling inspired and feeling really good and tranquil and chill you're gonna you're gonna be grateful you're gonna be showing gratitude you're gonna be spending time with people and healing and teas might be important to you during this time um specifically natural or herbal teas um cooking might also become something that fulfills you or something that you enjoy um, astrology might become more heavily involved in your life. Something about headbands, too. All right, let's get just a few more oracles. Let's see. We have the collective to wrap up this reading. Ooh, <laughs> Libra came out. I've been saying that. Libra. Someone's definitely a Libra in this situation or is in the justice system or is involved high level at this juncture. Like it's completely related to somehow it's intertwined with your life path and this Queen of Wands. Whoever this is that's trying to fight you. Something as it relates to that situation. Rainbow fluorite might be important during this time. Ametrine and labdorite. These stones, gems, crystals could be really beneficial to you. All right, let's get one more. Again, five. Breaks down. 55 breaks down. So... I'm really feeling five, like 555 or 555. That could be your age. Um, it could also be just a synchronicity that you're seeing on like receipts, um, license plates, phone numbers, it could be anything. But you're seeing that synchronicity, which is about change. Um, what else do we have for the collective? Snake, like I was saying earlier about this, could be a lizard, it was a snaky, snaky individual. There's two, possibly three snakes. I'm getting the name Damien. Rosetta, Rosalie, Rose, Mandy, Amanda, Melissa. Josh. Boxer. Someone could be a boxer, could be related to anything. Boxwood. But yeah, three three people that cannot be trusted. Obviously the Queen of Ward. Queen Queen of Wards. <laughs> hmm. She might be going to a mental ward. I don't know. Okay. Um, 
So this Queen of Wands um, is definitely one of these snakes. I, I feel like it's her, you know, the more, the more one that was obvious. You know, like I feel like out of all of the three people, she was the least good at hiding <laughs> based on her energy. That's true. But there's two others that she may have been connected with at the very least knew about that are working together. So be careful because there's two people that could still have access to you that are just as bad, if not worse than this person, because this person couldn't even keep their mouth shut. These people are moving in silence. So be careful. Um, I like this for you where it's, you know, a safe place where it's someone from your past that you trust or a group of people from your, and you'll know, a group of people from your past that you trust versus potentially new people or people you don't know that well. These could be acquaintances, they could, these could be coworkers, these could be neighborhood friends, these could be anyone that's in your life that's not, you know, trusted, hasn't really um, gone through knowing you long enough for you to feel like you trust them and you shouldn't because... These people are definitely working against you. Oh, Taurus could be of significance. And, hmm, Frog and Nyx. The moon is in both of these cards. And that's a pretty early phase. It could be... Um, of significance to you with with these frogs I feel like you're gaining wisdom from hanging out with your tribe with your family your friends people you've vetted and know are on your side it's very healing for you and it's going to bring out a lot of creativity with inside you and you'll notice things start to change and shift for you specifically during the moon cycles um, and then there's definitely a Taurus. Five. Again. Oh my God. Okay. Five, five, five. Change. Change in your perspective. Change in your energy. Change in everything because you say, I'm done with this kind of behavior. Let's get one more card or two. I'll take two. There's anything more than that. Too much. Is this my Raven, ooh, 44. You could be seeing 44 a lot or the number four. You're, you're definitely in a period, a season where you're going to be seeing a lot of synchronicities, whether that's new for you or something you've um, understood for a while. We've got Cancer at the bottom of the deck. One more. Aquarius. So there could be an Aquarius of significance too. I really feel like there's a Libra, Taurus, and Aquarius somehow connected um, within this situation. Whether that's you, whether that's this other person, or other people that are involved in this situation. Um, part of your synchronicities could be also seeing ravens or crows and you know having them kind of just squawk at you and you kind of feel at peace. This could also be um, ravens as you know, your ancestors coming through to, like that's their sign for you to let you know that they're good. Also the synchronicity 44 um, about, you know, building a foundation. That's the, the first step for creating your manifestations in this reality. So that's really beneficial and positive. That is all I have for you today, collective. And let me know if this resonates and I hope to see you next time. Love you, bye.